This is Pixel Productions coming to you with a gas mask review. I'll be reviewing one of my more rare pieces of my collection, that being the XM42 Combat Vehicle Crew gas mask. This gas mask was the halfway point between the M17 Field Protective Mask and the M40 Series gas masks. This mask, in particular, would later be termed as the M42 gas mask, which saw use in the early 90s to today. Off the back, there's many similar traits of the M17 put into the XM40 series while also having quite a few independent traits of its own. We see at the top a not so prominent US and M stamp, US being United States, M being medium for the size. Typically on M40s, you can run your fingers over across the stamps and are able to get the impression that they are indeed raised stamps. These are rather low key. Further down, we see the lenses which are an independent trait of the XM40 series and do not in have any inheritance by the M17. The crimping of the lenses are interesting as it would seem backwards with the full metal on the outer rim and the actual crimping on the inside. The lenses provided a better field of view however were still made of polycarbonate such as the M17. There were two available lens outserts available for the mask, which were neutral gray and clear. Those, however, are rather rare and are not a part of my kit. Moving on, we see the XO valve cover, which is strikingly similar to the M17s, but not so quite while well, having some independent traits of its own. The XO valve cover's design was used in pretty much all of ILC Dover's manufacturer XM40s, and has a slight variation over the course of the time it was made. On this particular model, we see three retainers holding the cover in place, as opposed to the M17s only having two. There is also a microphone port right below the voice emitter, which allows hookup to the combat vehicle crew helmet. Typically on XM41 aircrew prototypes, the XM42's drink tube is painted with a white line as well. The significance of this I'm un currently unaware of. Moving on to stamps, we see that this was manufactured by ILC Dover in 1984, in the first week of October. The XM40 series, as far as I'm aware, lasted from 1983 to 1985, maybe longer, however I cannot confirm past 1985. Seeing inside the mask, the microphone is oddly brown. I'm not really too much into microphones, so I cannot say much on that. I just typically know they're black. The oral nasal cup is also loose. All right, that's pretty much that. Pretty much wraps up my review. Hopefully, it served purpose into those seeking information on the mask. If this gets enough support, I'll review more of my collection from time to time and post them up.